Neil Adger's Weekend Guide to Max Kilman Making Hay James Ward-Prowse set pieces brilliance and crit. Of the six ever-present centre-backs in the Premier League this season half play for Wolverhampton Wanderers, Max Kilman, Connor Cody and Romain Sess have started as the central defensive trio in all 19 games, exactly half the season, but that sequence will end this weekend because Sess is captaining Morocco at the Africa Cup of Nations. That settled back line has helped Wolves concede only 14 league goals this season, although the team have also recorded the same low goal tally. In fact Wolves' fixtures have produced only 1.47 goals per game, compared with more than 3 per game in all other Premier League matches this season. Southampton, Wolves' opponents this weekend, boosted that latter figure with a 4-1 midweek win over Brentford. Match and focus Wolverhampton Wanderers v Southampton kickoff, Saturday, 3 p.m. TV, highlights, BBC One, 10.30 p.m. referee, M. Salisbury. Dat, Max Kilman, Wolves' ever-present centre-back has still made more appearances in non-league than in the Premier League. He played in the 8th tier as a 19-year-old and then at the 5th level the following season. Dat, Southampton's recent league games have been marked by early goals, 8 of them in the first 10 minutes of their past 10 fixtures. In contrast Wolves, their opponents this weekend, have had no such goals in that period. Dat, James Ward-Prowse set up Southampton's opening two goals against Brentford in midweek from corners, maintaining his reputation for set-piece expertise. Classic meeting September 18, 1965, second tier, Southampton centre-forward Jimmy Melia was the architect of their victory yet did not score himself in a match where all dozen goals had arrived by the hour mark. The home side, beaten 5-1 by Coventry City four days earlier and unable to score in their two league games after this one, fell behind to a first-minute own goal by Tony Knapp. But they responded quickly, with Martin Chivers scoring four and the England winger Terry Payne hitting two as well as striking the woodwork. John Sydenham, with two, and George O'Brien were also on target for Southampton, while Bobby Woodruff's goal for Wolves made the scoreline 2-2 and Peter Nola's effort made it 7-3. The result kept Southampton top of the table and on course for what would become their first promotion to the top flight. Brighton Hove Albion v Crystal Palace kickoff. Friday, 8 p.m. TV, Live, Sky Sports PL Radio, BBC 5 Live Referee, Jay Gillett. Late show these clubs past three meetings have featured a decisive late goal for the away side. Past three Brighton Crystal Palace meetings, October 18, 2020, Palace 1 Brighton 1st February 22, 2021, Brighton 1 Palace 2nd September 27, 2021, Palace 1 Brighton 1. Manchester City v Chelsea Kickoff, Saturday, 12.30 p.m. TV. Live, BT Sport 1 Radio, Talk Sport Referee, C. Pawson. Dat, Jorginho's past 15 league goals for Chelsea, and his past 19 in all competitions, have come from the penalty spot. Most consecutive goals as penalties in Premier League 15 Jorginho 8 James Milner 7 Danny Murphy January 7 Molby 7 Mikel Arteta 7 Sandy Cazorla 7 Luka Milivojevic Big numbers 15 league games in their past 16 in which Arsenal have scored first 5 Liverpool matches without a win against top-flight opponents 21 Manchester United's points distance to the bottom of the table, they are 22 from the top. Newcastle United v Watford kickoff. Saturday, 3 p.m. TV, Highlights, BBC One, 10.30 p.m. Radio, BBC Five, Live Referee P. Tierney. Dat, Chris Wood, Newcastle's new signing from Burnley, is a target man who lays off short passes. Only three of his 304 passes this season have traveled 30 yards or more. He is due to face another player who rarely makes long passes. Watford's Josh King. Guess the season England lose 5-2 to France in Alf Ramsey's first match as England manager Leighton Orient play their only top-flight season Birmingham beat Aston Villa in League Cup final. Norwich City v Everton kickoff, Saturday, 3 p.m. TV, highlights, BBC One, 10.30 p.m. radio, Talksport 2 referee, a madly. Dat, Norwich's 2-0 defeat by West Ham in midweek maintained their remarkable 2 by 2 season. Norwich's 20 league games this season in chronological pairs, games 1-2, to 2 defeats games 3-4, to 2 defeats games 5-6, to 2 defeats games 7-8, to 2 draws games 9-10, to 2 defeats games 11-12, to 2 wins games 13-14, to 2 draws games 15-16, to 2 defeats games 17-18. Two defeats games 19 to 20. Two defeats. Aston Villa v Manchester United kickoff, Saturday, 5.30 p.m. TV, live, Sky Sports PL Radio, Talk Sport referee, D. Koo. Dat, Manchester United have recorded a deficit both in shots and corners at the halfway point in their league campaign. Classic kit. Liverpool v Brentford kickoff, Sunday, 2 p.m. TV, 
Highlights, BBC One, 10.30 p.m. Radio, BBC Five Live Referee, J. Ma. Dat, Liverpool broke the record for the most away goals, compared with home goals, in the top flight in a calendar year. Most top division away goals compared with home goals, plus 21 Liverpool, 2021, plus 19 Sunderland, 1913, plus 17 Newcastle, 1909, plus 17 Norwich, 1993, plus 14 Arsenal, 2011, plus 14 Huddersfield, 1948, plus 13 Chelsea, 1955. West Ham United v Leeds United kickoff, Sunday, 2 p.m. TV, live, Sky Sports PL referee. M. Dean. Dat. Leeds S. Fall this season may remind older fans of their decline in the year after they became champions in 1992. Marcelo Bielsa's team have suffered badly from injuries in this campaign. Tottenham Hotspur v. Arsenal kickoff, Sunday, 4.30 p.m. TV, live, Sky Sports PL Radio, BBC 5 Live Referee, C. Cavanaugh. Dat. Tottenham have faced Morecambe and Dennis Wise's old team in their past two matches and now seek victory over their neighbours to bring them sunshine. Two points behind Arsenal but with two games in hand, they aim to finish above their main rivals for the sixth season in a row, a far cry from the 21 consecutive campaigns when Arsenal were placed higher in a run that ended in 2016. Burr's high ambition. Arsenal 21-18. Tottenham 9-5. Brief history. Bolton Wanderers formed in 1874. Bolton were among the 12 clubs who played in the first football league season of 1888-89. Their 73 top-flight seasons is the most among clubs to have never been champions. Their highest finishes were third in 1892, 1921, and 1925. Bolton's three FA Cup triumphs of the 1920s included the first Wembley final in 1923. Nat Lofthouse scored twice, and they beat Manchester United in the 1958 final. Bolton-born Lofthouse was a fan who became the club's top goal scorer, chief scout, chief coach, manager, executive manager, and president. Bill Ridding managed Bolton for 18 years from 1950. Roy Greaves made a record 590 appearances from 1965 to 1980. In the 2007 to 2008 UEFA Cup, they drew away to Bayern Munich in their group before knocking out Atletico Madrid in a two-legged tie. They bounced from top flight in 1980 to fourth tier in 1987, back to the top division in 1995 and the fourth level again in 2020.